Jamek, are we aware of like all these people being touched by it? Yeah, as Silas is making his friends, everyone that these are just the people that you know that are touched, or like general camp people who are also touched. Where were these people? Oh, there. Uh, oh, bottom break. Yep, I found bottom them. Right. Oh boy, uh, well, two really teachers. Cool. Okay, Asta is safe. That's the important one. Yeah, uh, I will note a lot of the people who you actually took out are fine. I think the only person who you took out who is infected is Nell. Damn it, Nell. Mm. Get your shit together now. This, this is <laughs> why you because... can't go nice places. <laughs> it's because one of our saves sucks ass. <laughs> well, Lana's just gonna gently pat Ash very carefully and tell her to go prepare and take it easy. And no more alcohol, probably. Wasn't planning on it. Well, that's good. At least until water. this is done. You probably want to get some water in your system. Okay. That, that's actually what it kind of have in mind, J-Mac. <laughs> it's been like a half hour and Ash is just ready to fall over at any moment. Right, I think Ash has like 8 con. Exactly. We got 10 con. But still, Ash also doesn't have a lot of body weight to soak sure. in that alcohol. So, you know, and, and, you know, isn't blessed by Caden or anything stupid like that. So, like, two drinks is actually a lot to Ash. Yeah, no, Alana is, weighs 83 pounds. She might have 14 con, but she doesn't drink for a reason. <laughs> so she doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't have, like, the blessed liver of, God damn it, Dad, I've inherited your alcohol tolerance. I can't get drunk. I'm gonna say no, only because her <laughs> god doesn't like her dad. Right, so for... bl blessings of Caden aren't hereditary, got it. <laughs> That'd be earned, mister. You have to kill James, and then you get it. Oh no. <laughs> I have to consume his liver. Uh, am I an old <laughs> in divinity now? I hear, it, I hear it goes great with onions. Oh no. And fava beans. Moving on. But uh, yeah, basically what, um, do we have anyone in our friend groups that Ash knows is like a divine caster? Preferably Princeton? a cleric. Princeton. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyone else? Riss is, well, Riss is something people touch, but Riss is a cleric. Yes. Right. Gonna go find Riss. Okay. But that yeah, Riss has been touched, so... She's a bad Riss one. has been touched. I'm sure I have an idea. a cleric won't care if it's the help. It's not so about... going up to Riss and just booping them with protection from evil. Battle. Well, it, it is, because I was gonna go like, okay, I'm gonna go around over here, cast protection from evil, Try not to bump into anyone, and then just put a hand on her shoulder. I'm assuming you're casting out of sight of her. Mm-hmm. Okay. You duck and weave her and the other party goers, tap her on the shoulder, and the spell goes off. She looks to you and goes, Yes, Ash? I need your help. Oh, um, what for? So, like, you know all those goop wraithy things going around you drinking a little bit okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a little i'm a little better than i was a little bit ago oh, but like okay i um, need yes for I, things I, I i need like do you have holy water on you she has her pockets i have this so she pulls up one vial awesome can you cast protection from evil today no i no Damn. What's happening? I think there's some kind of weird <laughs> sickness going around related Aaron. to the goo raids. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to, like, set up a, um, a sort of distraction. Have people walk into it and be, like, hit with a boop of positive energy and, like, just make sure that they're the negative energy goop that could be, like, hiding in their pockets or whatever isn't gonna, like, make them sick. 
Aaron is in the background waving to Ash, going, "What are you? Stop! Stop! Stop!" <laughs> Meanwhile, it is starting of... a conga line. <laughs> Risk kind of uh listens to all this slightly incredulous. Uh, she appears to do something though. Well. She casts a spell. Cool. Because... I'll try and identify it. It's not a slight living. <laughs> Boom! She murders you instantly. <laughs> uh, yeah, rules spellcraft. Spellcraft. Yep. Murders you instantly. Everyone else cheers. Hey! Ding dong! The witch is dead. Quickly, someone figure out. out. Alternatively, psychic reading, Jen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this isn't actually a spell you recognize. Huh. Appears to be one of her own making. Uh oh. Damn you, uh, school, teaching people to make their own spells. I'll give you a name, and that's all I'll give you. But it appears to be a divination spell. Uh -oh. mm. Mm. As her eyes slight glow slightly, and she looks around. Oh. Cast a tet goop. I think I see what you mean. Yeah, and the friends want to be subtle about this, so like, you want to come over to my tent for a bit? <laughs> As Ash just kind of says slightly louder, trying to provide, you know, that like, huh, Ash is just hitting on Riss. Okay. The rest of the party. Uh, do you have any sense motive? Uh, let's find out. No. <laughs> That's just completely oblivious to risk be, uh, purposely dragging them perhaps a bit more forcefully than they need to towards, you know, a private location. Mm -hmm. I mean, if Riss has sense motive, like, there's a clear indication of, like, okay, Ash is not trying to get in my pants, but Ash is been known to be kind of flirty, so this so seems like a this this seems in character for Ash. It does. Distinct feeling of Ash isn't trying to get in her pants, but you know if it happens. Oh yeah, no. If if Riss tried, Ash would probably give it a good strong consideration. Uh, yeah. Riss will basically drag you into the corner away from the part and go. I see that I'm touched. Is this not a concern? Uh, that's why I hit you with protection from evil. What are you doing, Aaron? Says coming around the corner as they <laughs> as she followed him. Getting our best friend with positive She's energy. Touched. What are you? Oh god. Shouldn't be any more. I look at the. I look at her. Uh, she just say, "I regret to inform you that this hasn't broken the connection." And I, then I look back to Ash, like, <laughs> like really, seriously? <laughs> huh? She focuses in on herself. Uh, can you both roll me will saves? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, this just gets better and better. The infection spreads. <laughs> ah, zombie infection. Oh no, it's the T virus. <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, Aaron, you're slightly dazzled as light blooms out of her. I to roll some dice. What is up with things in searing my rat does today? Uh, it doesn't appear to be targeting you, this just seems to be like a, a byproduct of her suddenly glowing like fuck. But uh, she looks at herself and goes, this should be removed now. If you want to know, ask Silas, he can see him really well. Uh, I can see the marks. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. Is it gone? I can't see I so. much of anything. Why am I blind? Uh, Sorry, that's okay. um, a byproduct of worshipping the sun. It's the sun. It's a big ball of fire. What is there to worship? Never mind. I don't want that answer. It's kind of hot, though. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I vote, by the way, from now on, uh, we give all of the sidelines characters light sensitivity. <laughs> 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 back, back to the tent situation. So, um, there was a lot of people marked. What was your game plan here? I don't know. Uh, we're currently we have Ash apparently working on finding a solution, and also on Lana. She seems pretty smart in the way of you know divine power, or whatever. I don't know. She, a god likes her. I don't know. It was my best bet. Silas Ash, apparently figured Ash out. Ash just kind of 
Ash just kind of pulls up the notes that Alana gave them. Something about being strong enough to actually just shake off the grip seems to work. I don't know. I don't know how to... That is what I... You are aware that Joe are sometimes naturally resistant to magic? Mm-hmm. I uh... essentially uh, bolstered myself. Okay. That's good to know. I don't know what that means. Can you do it to other people? No. Um, cool. <sighs> Sorry. Maybe. Maybe. Ash kind of pulls out like a lump of clay from their bag and says, okay, I know a few things about setting up a warded area. I've got a ward that produces a field of light amounts of positive energy. Part of why I need needed that holy water, well, I was hoping you'd be able to cast a couple of spells, one of which I know you can't. Uh, Basically create you know like a spot where if we can get people to walk through then it should basically just i don't know hopefully pop them with a nice little burst of energy fling off the the evil hands and uh everything should be fine All right kind of like lancing a leech can you set up a big enough area for that? And how are you going to lead everybody through that? Maybe you can just make it on like the end of a stick that we can poke. Okay, look. All we need is for everyone to just start dancing in a line and just get Epos to lead them through it. That's all we need to have happen. He's already doing that. I don't know how long, much longer that's going to last. Can you do it in 30 seconds? No, but there's alcohol going around. There's festivities going around. They're going to be dancing for a while. <sighs> okay. Uh, it's an idea. Um, maybe someone else has a better one? Don't take too long figuring if, out if they do. Maybe we can spike the food. You have something that would work for that? Um... We have wine with strange energy. We do have a wine with strange energy. We don't know what the hey. energy does. I... You, have, you have a wine with holy energy. I have a wine with energy. I don't know. I can't see magic. You tell me. Aaron okay. holds up the... <laughs> De detect magic. This wine is heavy with druidic energy. That's kind of divine, you guess? Great technique for divine school. Yeah, Ash just kind of looks at it and goes, Ippos might be able to do something with this, actually. Uh, can you roll me a spellcraft real quick? As you can yeah. technically attempt to identify this. The drinker of this wine shall be infected with the powers of a blight stream. Upon drinking this wine, you suddenly level up. So that's why you wouldn't let me drink it earlier. It's like, you want it's it like a, yourself. It's, it's like a munchkin card. Get sloshed. Go up a level. <laughs> Can't fucking spell. May have other side effects. Oh. Uh. Well. So, yeah, it's got druidic power and life energy in it. Does that work? By itself, I don't think it's enough, so, you know, to spread around the entire student body that's being grabbed by Could ghost hands. Well, shit. If we don't have enough to spread it around to the entire student body, maybe we can just at least, like, I don't know, spike some people's drink? Okay, that helps five people, maybe. It's five bottles. They're not going to drink an entire bottle each. Are all, are all the bottles the same? I was under the impression they each had a different element. No. Oh. They're, all, they're all the same thing. Oh, okay. Then yeah, we, we could probably help a fair few people. Yeah. Um. I I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll help. Maybe if you can weaken the connection, then this little bit amount could actually finish. I got that. an idea. What? So we take this wine, we take the holy water, and we have with it, and I set up the positive energy ward around the serving area. So when they come in, they get the food, they eat it, and they're just like blasted with positive energy inside and out, right? Uh, yeah, that works. But how do we make sure that they get Riss, the wine? you're not... sober. Riss, you're sober. Tell me, does this sound like a good idea? Uh, she looks to Erin, she looks back to 
Ash, uh, maybe? Yeah, if we can get the serving table to serve food at a particular time, and then I can get around and make sure the, the, uh, the particular people's drinks are spiked, then, yeah, I suppose it would work. I, the problem is... I mean, saying... you, you could just say, like, hey, I found this awesome wine. I want to share it with my friends. So here you go. Have some. Those hey, you're you're an important you're an important teacher. I like you. Have I some can... wine. Wrist speaks up. I could probably get Brighton to drink. That's at least something. Um, the others. I I don't think it's hard to get Brighton to drink. Yes, that's also true. I'd rather yes, just go you... around and try to just like people's drink with sleight of hand. I can do that. A sleight of hand, Chris asks. No. I'm gonna assume Alana's kind of nearby. She's gonna point out she can pretty easily get staff to drink their friends. There you go. Okay. Um, Aaron's gonna take a jug and kind of shakily pour a bit out into a glass and I don't know, do something with that. You expect me to work miracles with a glass of wine? Yes. That's what Jesus would do. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who this is, but they sound like a twelve. That was a character. Oh. I'm I'm sorry, I'm very much trying to stay in character. That's fair. Okay. Alana, here, take that. Make sure that your friend drinks. Alana, take that down to no kidding. <laughs> White girls are day. <laughs> I can probably get I can probably get Brighton to drink. I can probably get Mets it probably be pretty easy considering he's you know an alchemist. Yeah. My, my main problem is with Steve. Have you seen her? Yeah, that's in general or no the the number of hands. Wrist like beaks are in the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the one I'm worried about. She's been acting strangely because of. Oh, so what? We need to hit her with like a lot of power. Yeah. Shit. See, that wasn't explained to me. Everyone else, I can probably just do spiking their drinks. She's the problem. And frankly, I don't know how to beat her. Frankly, um, out of everybody here, sh her intelligence probably scares me the most. Okay, I'm going to go... Can I have a glass of that wine? Yeah, you're I'm going to go spread as much as I can. Uh, I'll rendezvous with, rendezvous with you in a minute. Hey, Riss. Yes? I don't suppose you can do any, like, bursts of positive energy like clerics can do normally, right? I can, however, it will light up the entire place as if it were some, if it were the middle of the day. Cool. That would be a bit eye-catching. Yeah, if this thing yeah is... but, like, if we... Everyone else we need to be subtle with, once we get her, I think it doesn't matter how subtle we are or are not. As long as we get her right, no. This okay, Ash. This is not a normal possession. This is a link. It's not. It's a slight corrupting force, yes, but it's mostly giving whatever makes these hands knowledge. We need to be subtle, not for the fact that Steve will kick our ass, but whatever is controlling her will kick our ass. And that's what I'm afraid of. God, you people need to stop giving me half answers when you want me to do stuff. Tell me everything up front. God damn. I'm All sorry. Right. Sorry? I'm stressed, and I'm trying to find an answer, and I can't find it, and I have a lot going on. Well, you two try to think of an answer. Eatos. Oof. The people keeping the party alive. Well, not entirely. But you're contributing a large amount. What's up next What's in the next party, party agenda? agenda? I don't know. I'm kind of a one-trick pony when it comes to this. The boss dances. <laughs> it's his thing. Wolf is, Wolf is going to kind of... Oh yeah, Wolf, Wolf is seeing people out. Wolf wants to basically try and kind of keep spirits up, keep everyone kind of hyped, as it were. Um, and Wolf doesn't actually know anything's going on. No one's told him a thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, Wolf, kind of almost the same. <laughs> um, so I would like to work the crowd of diplomacy. Okay. Um, Wolf just wants to keep everyone hyped. Super hyped. Wolf going, I can't hear you. Also, free drinks! 
The student population will be trash. It'll be great to be like Freshers Week all over again. <laughs> Could I perhaps? It's a bit of a stretch, but try um, use magic device combined with various spells to playing off what someone said earlier and basically do like lightning fireball. Fire, not fireballs? Um, fireworks. Uh, maybe not if your spells, but if you have a book light. Not so I guess more really. Spine. The spine would work, actually. Yeah, it, it yeah. stores a lot of power. Sure, if you want to shoot lightning fireworks from your axon. Also, also, it might be possible that Wolf himself might be a little bit drunk at this point. <laughs> Only a little bit. Real. You've been rolling a lot of twos this session. I have. Apparently I spent all my luck in the previous session. <laughs> huh. Slightly under yeah. average, but eh. Wolf, your voice is just kind of lost in the general hubbub of everyone talking. Yeah, plus you do manage to get a few fireworks out if you want to spend, I guess, electricity from the Axon. Pew, pew, pew. And then I just... Spend basically, I fire one off, spend a round recharging it, fire another one off. You yeah, actually managed to make them look kind of like fireworks, where when they shut up into the air, they kind of fizzle for a bit and leave behind an afterglow before disappearing. <laughs> Party is safe for now, at least. Silas, what have you been up to? Uh, what once he's got done with his pinging, he actually has just been like, uh, sort of networking with people, specifically those that don't have hands on them. Okay. Coming up your keys at the party. Yeah, sort of uh, also technically waiting one. on yeah, waiting on a good time to sort of pull Aaron aside and ask her if she knows anything about getting rid of hands or disconnecting them. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Uh we're working on it. Uh various clerical people are uh found an answer uh, just trying to implement it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we need clerics, correct? Uh Holy people, generally how you shake it off is you empower someone's person. We found a wine need that to will do... empower their egos and will, correct? Uh, shit, man, I don't know, yeah? I'm a mechanic, I don't know how to fix people. Fine, I shall... In that case, I shall look for people who might be able to do that. Sort of empower others. Okay. Specifically ones that have not been touched. It's a pity that Professor Williams has been already, but Adam Moore has not. I may be able to get a good a good handle with her. It's a shame because Professor Williams is probably one of the things we're looking for here. Uh, Professor Williams is actually a, a sun sorcerer, as people would know her specialization is using light and spells right, and yeah, such. She was, yeah, but she's also known for her uh, her antics against the undead. So, yeah, because be light good. burns undead. It doesn't really burn, you know, hands that are psychically yeah. on you. Yeah, but like everything that we've, yeah, I guess. But everything that we've sort of fought here has been undead, including the big things. They've all had some sort of little undead slant to them. So yeah, maybe. Oh well, I guess I can go see with Madam Moore. But yes, yeah, now Silas is going to continue on with his, with his networking with people and try and. Pull up, like, I don't suppose get information can... about her. Shit, I don't know. I don't, don't I suppose you can lend some of your massive ego to some people? <laughs> or are you just going to continue hoarding it yourself? <sighs> that is not what that means. Technically, However, he could to us through the Iron Stones. Yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> the best I can do is, is use the Iron Stone with all of you and potentially also spread some uh, morale enhancements to people. That is a thought. Well, Though, or if, if double we, up on them, right? there is a thought in that if there's like a couple we think we could work a way of doing it, we could like slap an iron stone on them and just psychically save blast them through the link. Maybe, uh, maybe. Okay, I don't know. I don't think that's safe. You, though. No, Are you sure you can't do it? I can. This is like your one chance that I'd actually willingly like ego fluff. Come on. You can do it, Silas. You very be powerful. That's not, that's not how that works. Your and mind also, is so great and powerful. Now it's not working? Shit. This is not my area of expertise. I thought it was. All right. No. Pure mental power is what I have. Isn't this what, okay, it I doesn't mean I can all. share it. Okay. Fine. Exactly. Do more studying then. Yeah. Now I'm going to go. And yeah, Silas is going to go back out and 
start schmoozing with people, okay, seeing wait. if he can find. Silence! Stop. I grab him what? by the coattails. Okay. Stop. Problem. Pulling me away. I'm trying okay, to no, get. I'm sorry. I'm so... Fuck. Okay. Look, I told this. I told the engineer to go off, wander off to the main simple part of the town to find it, even without knowing if he had handprints on him or not. I don't know if that's good or. Hmm. Because he could be going back there to go tell the main body of hands. In that case, I would suggest you go and intercept him. But if he doesn't know anything about it, then he could probably go solve the situation by himself. Then all the then all the more reason to intercept him. Even if you slow him slightly, it is better than, than taking the chance. Fuck, alright. Fine, I'll go do it. If possible, you... make sure that you take someone or something that you can that you can examine if they have hands on them. How am I supposed to do that? I don't know how to do fucking shit. Give me your high on stone. Why? I, it's the only way I know how to do it, is put it around his head, and if he feels weird, then maybe. That's the only thing I can do. That's n except that will not work. You're not psychically attuned. I can still. If you if you put your own around his head, then maybe I can feel it through the link. Okay. Then how will you tell me if it's yes or no? Well, then I guess we can try your try your theory of of me using my mental prowess through the link. Don't you think? Okay, cool. But weren't you? Didn't I see you? See you speaking with um, oh, what was her name? Riss earlier. Yes. She had a hand on her. Yeah, we but now it doesn't anymore. That's how we know we, we can actually empower people through you know self improvement or whatever it's called. I don't know. That's and I know they are. And I know they are of divine origin. Was there not anything that they did to where they noticed the hands? Because I, it's unlikely that you. And she can. Oh, fuck, I need to get her. Okay. There. Thank you. Good. Ah, God. All right. <laughs> go. Do your thing. I will go back to mine. All right. Okay. So three, two, one. Aaron's going to stumble out around the corner and sort of pull on this uh, person's coat and saying, Hey, do you want to show me those guns? I die in sight. Yes, uh, can you guys stop hitting on Riss? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Riss just looks and goes, what? And I'm going to pull pull her back. Okay, okay. you need to get on Rusty, and you need to hold on tight. We need to go. Uh, why? Um, the professor of engineering I sent off to go to the main town to investigate why he was being prevented from going to the center of town by Rusty or some other force keeping him away from the center of town. Um... He's trying to do that stealthily without Restive, who's been currently polluted by massive number of hands on her. Uh, he doesn't know about the hands, though. And I don't know if he had any hands on him. Ah, I see. You need me to confirm that he's... Fine, he yes. Is. Yeah. He was pretty fucked up during that fighting. So, he might be a mess. If you want, I can get him myself. Like, go out and get him, or... She nods. You, you can catch up to him. Yes. I'll be able to move more quietly without, um, she looks at Rusty. This is more and more of a smash and grab I was planning, but if you could do it quietly and catch up to him, then yeah. Yes. It wouldn't be my first time tracking someone down. That's ominous and both encouraging. Okay, good luck. <laughs> Fair enough. Is she... Do you want some wine? She still has some. She hasn't actually gotten to Brighton yet. Okay, uh, give me the Brighton's glass, take the jug. Uh... Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you get it. Cool. As she sprints off into the into the darkness, very quickly just disappearing. Put that on my list of th people not to piss off. Got it. Okay. Turns out Drew is very good at being stealthy. Also, I'm just saying that seems to be an seems to be a rapidly growing list. Yes. Like it seems like every single session you're discovering new things you wish you didn't know. Yeah. Giving her eggs, but she's not dead. Okay. Did you know gnolls are real? No, I don't know what gnolls are. You do. Oh, one. <laughs> oh yes, I have. Oh right. Yeah. Which, <laughs> speaking of Silas, are you particularly trying? You said you're schmoozing, and on them particular. Yes. Uh, I do want to focus on Madame more, but I, I want to get a general idea of like, the people, like other classmates that be might be that might be divinely attuned. And also, specifically going to Madame Moore. 
Okay, give me a diplomacy for gather information first of all. So I'll give you information before you Info make a guess. decision. Hey, guess you know who'd be potentially helpful? Your Princeton. good old buddy roommate Princeton. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, he knew that already. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk divine... to him. God, for Princeton. Uh, divinely useful people would be Stoyovin, who will mark with yellow. Cool. Just mark yeah. with people who are useful. Yes, that Princeton, uh, I think we're saying. No, there's someone divinely powerful on Team Elma. Look at all of these arrows, all pointing towards Princeton. I think the GM's giving you a hint. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just feel so bad for him. I know. It's, it's, there's it's nothing like... really... There's nothing bad about Princeton. It's just like... I know. Princeton yeah, is funny. very much not a force of subtlety. That's yeah, true. It's also just funny that it's like... Maybe you saw us like, nope, I'm going for the other option, who's even you technically cursed. You just got very unlucky putting Princeton with in Silas's room because their personalities clash a tiny <laughs> bit. A they clash enough to annoy about. Silas, which means he will he won't work with Princeton as a first choice. Yeah, see Alana Princeton. would talk to him, but uh he's not really aware of what Princeton does. That's fair. He doesn't hate the guy. He's just kinda weird. He just kind of exists. Yeah. In Alana's existence, but she doesn't exactly know why. But yeah. you can approach magic. Why do you exist? <laughs> flips, flips clipboard. Why? But when you approach Madame Mer, she looks to you, drawing the party. Ah, oh, yes, it is wonderful, though. If you would, I would, I would like to talk to you in private for a little bit. Oh. Um, okay. That'll lead her off a little bit. Madame, there is a bit of a problem that has come to our attention. My name. Eyebrows, bro. What's uh, the issue? Have you noticed anything odd about Rastine since she's returned? <laughs> more than usual. Y yes, more than usual. No. Why? Well, my apologies to ask this. Do you happen to have any, any sort of psychic Psychic linkage or sensitivity in you. Oh, sorry, it's made. No. Where are you getting at? Well, um, I I know you've been in contact with the rest of the professors, correct? And you probably heard about a hand creature from them. Uh, yes. They said we were having quite a bit of trouble with it. Yes. There. That is part of it. It doesn't seem like it is very much a physical creature anymore. Or if it is, it is. It has placed its mark on many of the of the students as well as uh, Restive and Professor Williams. Restive heavily so. Whenever she walked into camp, I know I could barely see her skin under the black handprints that were appearing. She perks up, her ears sticking up into her. You're sure of this? I am very certain. I am quite confident in psychic abilities, and while no one else seemed to notice, yes. As well as I've gone, taken the liberty of going through this camp and focusing my, my sight onto them, and seeing who else has handprints, and there seems to be multiple people that have at least one. She looks about point one out to me. Uh, he'll, he'll give a a slight nod towards uh, the goblin yeah, methods. I'm going. I'm going to the infirmary. If you can get him to me, I'll see what I can do. Uh, all right. My infirmary should mean the tent was basically just got birds on it. He will nod and nod at someone else. Oh well. <laughs> he thought methods would be one of the more noticeable ones in the in the crowd. I mean, just to be the quick common sense of your head. I mean, technically, just because you pointed out, doesn't this I mean you have to take them? I guess that's true. He'll, yeah, he'll um, uh, sort of uh, look to her and say, "Oh, if you if you wish for me to gather one, uh, perhaps Professor Williams would be able to." She seems to be well less printed compared to rest Eve, but fairly that's... so, I believe. If we can clear another professor, I'd be for the best. Indeed, yes. And so, yeah, he will. Uh, from what I've gathered from my 
from my colleagues, it seems that she was very vague about this, but enhancing them to resist, it's... I'll be able to do something. Yes, get thank them. you. That's good. Yes, he will. All right, he will wave the CR off and start heading over to the professor. Professor Williams is more to the side of the party. She doesn't seem to be like a party person. Mm -hmm. Good. She's like quietly sipping on a drink. Uh, professor. Yes? Uh, could you help me for a bit? Uh, what seems to be the issue? Uh, I need I need your advice on some research I'm doing. Uh, if you can follow me to the uh, to the medical tent. I've been uh, it's a quiet place in this. I've been using it so she kind of smiles of relief. Ah, yes, of course. Let me come with you. Thank you. She will gladly follow you to the medical tent. Uh, the rest oh. of the party does see this as Professor Williams is led away. Oh my. <sighs> God damn it. Does anyone do anything when they see Silas lead her away? Since yeah. it's you know, something important. Hmm. Yeah, Silas having meetings as usual. Uh, okay, fair enough for Wilfred. Still kind of close as to what is going on. Too busy partying. Ash is probably setting up wards around the uh, the serving table right about now. And yeah, quietly carving them into the legs, I imagine. Um, more like... So, yeah, probably carving them into the legs, the underside of the table, and also just kind of dropping little coin-sized pieces of clay with runes inscribed on them. A little dash of salt here, dust of ash there. A little toe drawing over here. Got to Aaron. toss my of Newton to the fire. Aaron, instead, so people don't get curious and try to go listen in to whatever he's doing, mm. or get curious, Aaron's going to spread a rumor. Okay. I mean, I, I knew Silas was a teacher's pet, but this is ridiculous. He's in the middle of a party. Did he not have any tact to actually engage himself with the rest of us? I don't know what make a joke check would be. It's from a charisma. I, I figured, I don't know, maybe diplomacy? Uh, sure. I guess diplomacy is sort of joking. Diplomacy is to improve relations, so I'd go with yeah. that. The only alternative we to deceive the populace, perhaps. Would be the only alternative. Yeah. Bluff would be very I applicable. I suppose. Tell a joke through intimidation. <laughs> you will laugh at me. I mean, there's a danger of that because if you get that one, that means if you get it wrong, they somehow turn angry at you. You oh, accidentally 22. insulted them with your joke. Yeah, Aaron, you get a decent amount of laughs for Silas, but the joke once again. Yep. Fucking nerd. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Coming Says from the other one of our bigger nerds of the party. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Both of you. Yeah. Bottom of the food chain, baby. The, the only reason why it works is because Aaron's saying it, and the rampant irony is funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then Ash just blurting out, fucking nerd. <laughs> Team nerd SMH. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so I suppose since we haven't caught with uh, Alana in a while, is Alana doing anything? I mean, she's trying to get staff to drink some wine. Sure. Hopefully, telling her, wine. hopefully telling her boyfriend not to go near the dinner table. That too. Everyone <laughs> just wanders over to get drinking explodes. <laughs> no. um... It's like, oh hey, I'm melting. Oh, this isn't good. She's just. Sure. It's important for her to tell Roland that actually. So that's a fair point. Hey. hey. Please don't drink anything right now. We have to put some positive stuff into uh, what's currently being served. Because it's some okay. weird taint going around. You'll be a supportive boyfriend to give you thumbs up from the side, I suppose. Far away from the, far, far away from the um, food table. <laughs> far, far away from the deaf aura. Um, uh, are you approaching <laughs> staff in any particular way? You're just gonna like, hey, drink this, bro. Pretty much just hate drink this, bro. And she'll probably take a drink of it, too. Fair enough. And, like, mention it's really strong and pretty good. Takes a slip. Let me see. It's like, mm, oh, I'm not sure if it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Might need some more. Oh, uh, Mark, but he's drunk. With a perp. I mean, a lot of them have the glass, so maybe eventually it'll go somewhere. 
You have gotten stuff to drink. Ravel also takes a tiny little baby sip. She looks around for Ravel and just says, mm, be careful about that. He's an elemental, he can't get drunk. I think. That's fair. It might just not taste good to him then. He might taste a positive energy and go, what the fuck? I mean, he's mostly water anyway, right? So if anything, he probably just gets slightly discolored from the he's wine. Diluted. No. <laughs> he ends up turning slightly purple. God damn it, Aquilo. <laughs> but back to Silas. Professor Williams follows you to the infirmary tent. And what is this um this project you're working on? He did. No. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, this way. I. I left my notes with Madame Moore. I was getting her help as well. Uh, I see. Jumper. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no leader over. Aaron just fucking drop kicks her. Rush him! Madame Moore, I brought Professor Williams. Ah, uh, good. How are you, Natavia? She uh, looks. Professor Williams looks to say some mad, and then Madame Moore goes, "Is is this what? Um, is this not for the project?" As she, Madame Mer just kind of goes, brah, and hits her with a ton of positive energy. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Give me a sec. It's like, uh, okay. Got a couple of questions, but let's start with the most important one. Why? <laughs> How do you I like sunburn? sunburn? <laughs> Grab your face with positive energy. Uh, okay. Silas, they, as she's blasted with this positive energy, you, I assume you've just kind of been periodically flashing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, your hand is not gone. Ooh, okay. Uh, hmm. Professor Williams just looks and goes, "Uh, well, what was that for? Should you have saved that for after the the celebrations? There will be lots of drunk students." Don't you have a will save boost? Uh, no. Uh, no, I do not. Morale bonus. Uh, I. Yeah, the best I can do is moment of greatness, so, and I don't know how. He already has a morale bonus. Yeah, so it's too late, and he'll he will sort of uh uh subtly indicate to Madame Moore that it's still there. Yeah. Silas can be so arrogant he boosts his own rolls. That's different. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Does she have buff? She needs sense motive. Well, no, it's more because she's sense also motive to, well, to you intercept. Don't need yeah, you need to intercept, you don't need it if you're a recipient. What she oh, yeah, does I thought need you were is to about... send you a return message. Uh, well, actually, let's see if Natavia intercepts. Yeah, that's... Since this is kind of going on right in front of her. She, she's that's probably crazy. bedazzled at the moment, that probably doesn't help. Uh, I keep forgetting she's set to GM rule only. Uh, she rolled a 14 vote. Uh, Madamur just kind of quietly shakes her head. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, what's going on here? Are you, are you, the Professor Williams just kind of looks confused. Is is there not a project or what? No, I'm sorry. This is part of my project, and it's why I enlisted Madame Moore. I'm. Uh, it's for my uh, for my psychic class. I'm studying the effects of positive energy on the psyche. Oh. Um. To what purpose? Uh. Well, as most healing magic is positive energy, no one has truly examined the effects of positive energy on the mind as well as the body. They've only focused on the body and its effects of healing. We're wondering if it might have have a similar effect, or at the very least, some sort of effect, even if the person is healthy. So we're going to fucking bluff. Could you nuke yourself, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, where is she? So much sure that. But I will. I mean, this is really what Silas is best for, social engineering. Exactly. Look, you're up against the uh, sorcerer. She doesn't have the. Wisdom skill has never been known as sorcerer's best stats. <laughs> nice. Okay, yeah. She oh. couldn't succeed, actually. Oh, God. Yeah. So, this was a, a blind trial then? Yes. Ah, I see. Yes, of sorts. However, if, if you would, we do still need non blind, uh, non blind work as well. Yes, you've got to control oh, the so. placebo effect. Yes. Science is apparently, we know of evolution, we know of the placebo effect. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yes, I'm, of course, I would love to participate in any further research. Mm -hmm. Silas would nod to Madame Moore, if you would continue, please. Uh, of course. She's, 
uh, li looking a little bit panicked. It... <laughs> Silas is, is looking cool as a cucumber right now, just, yeah. Neither of these people have good air buffs on green. But thankfully it's slightly better than the sensible. <laughs> Hey. Oh, okay. as she channels again. Let's see. Uh, before this, Silas is going to uh, put out a a moment of greatness just in case. Okay. See. Does she have any more albums? I don't think so. Maybe it's you know circumstantial bonus. Yeah. Turns out the hand is giving her a morale bonus to resist the energy. I don't think it can. Work that backwards. I mean, I'm pretty sure it could. Well, uh, Silas, while you're standing next to us, oh, you it feel would be a profane bonus. But Silas, while you're standing next to us, wow, you don't feel like tired or anything at all. Now that you've been hit by her channel positive energy. Hooray! So any fatigue you have is washed away. And stay up all oh, night. Oh, we go. Not twenty. Ooh, there uh, we go. The hand disappears from Professor Williams. <sighs> and Silas will nod. Nod to Madam. All right, that it's it's gone. Uh, what's gone? Well, now that uh, I shall be open with you and no longer be lying to you now, uh, Professor uh, Williams, there was a black handprint on you. One exposition later. Yeah. Yes. La, 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 la. Oh, we were hurt multiple times in the city by the hands. We. Oh, we didn't see any adverse effects. I can't fucking keep this accent. <laughs> That's fine. No, that be because it is. It's more of an emotional imprint, a linkage between you and the hand creature. I think the only person who'd be able to actually see that is uh, Steve. She's likewise psychically attuned. Yes, and that is why she is absolutely coated in the hands. Marked her down as a target. Uh -huh. oh, Steve. Yes. It it seems it got unlucky that I that I was on the trip. And she ran across someone as paranoid as Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah, that too. So yes, we are I'm attempting to enlist people to help us to clear it off of everyone else as well as eventually clear it off of Steve completely without informing the hand creature of, well, what's going on. I am hoping that my lies to you earlier would have gotten through to it, or or the very least kept you from being panicked and sending that through the through whatever linkage it has. This is this is serious. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. What can we do? Hmm. Well, as we've discovered with Madame Moore. Bathing them in positive energy seems to destroy the hands. That's that's going to be an issue, madam. You can't keep doing that all day. And madam shakes her head. No, I'm twice more. Uh, yes, I understand. However, there are, there are other students in, in the class that are proficient in that. As well as, uh, well, if I, I'm remembering what Aaron said... Uh, the Golemancy teacher was sent off, or he went off because Steve apparently was mis got misleading you all from being able to find something in the city. She said, or at least that was the theory, because... What has happened here? And um, I'm afraid I'm going to have to contradict you, young Silas. Hmm? The reason Madame Moores would be working is she can clear any ailment. Oh. She nods. Disease. Corruption. Personally, I can clear it. I don't know if your friends will be able to. Ah. Uh, uh, potentially. Well, well, then we do not have much more evidence for that. Well, I need to try some things then. Still, from what I have heard from Aaron, the, uh, the hand thing wanted to stop for Steve and, and the others from finding something in the city heart of the city, I think it was. And and so she is, uh, Steve is proficient in illusions, correct? Yes, quite. Then that would, that would explain some things. I think. I do not have the full story because Aaron is paranoid and panicky. I th 
think that's understandable. At least yes, the disocrance. I... Yes, I agree. Still, now you two are free to, well, move about and help with this, I guess. If we can get all of the students and everyone else infected, uh, Madame could clear them. But if what you say about Restive is true, she might be more difficult. Yes, and I feel if we are to attempt to round up the other seven, she's going to take notice and something is going to happen. Uh, speaking of, we're gonna quickly flash cut away. Aaron, guess what's happening? Hi! Uh, Jade is actually trying to lead away, let's see, who of the other people who she talks to would she lead away? Jade is the bitch, right? No, that's the one, she's, it's the dwarf in your class. Oh, right, okay. Uh, she's actually trying to lead away Bella. Oh, okay. As you notice her saying something like, hey, come check this out. Or, you know, something more convincing. Yeah. Eh, she's a dwarf is how she talks. Um... It's true, she doesn't have any charisma. Right. Dude, I got a magic sword! Aaron will take the moment to sort of fade away from the big laugh she's caused and uh, sort of follow. Do you say she's going to follow him? Yeah. Roll stealth. Oh, I don't think. Uh, yep, flat Wait, zero. Is Evan being stealthy? Uh, I'll just take ten for a twenty-five. That's fair. <laughs> okay, Bella can do much better. Uh, Jade leads Bella basically uh, to the walls of the encampment. She seems to be like trying to prompt her to go up and like look out over the forest. I'll watch. Which, after a second, she'll go up. And you basically hear, oh, it's quite lovely out here. And then a very quite strangled scream as uh, what looks like a mass of hands just pulls Bella over the embankment. Okay. Um, Jade watches on. Jade is the hand monster. Uh, she is the one who controls the Muppets. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you continue watching after a minute, Bella basically is pushed back up. She brushes herself off and gives a nod to Jade as they return to the party. Aaron does everything within her power not to scream. <laughs> well, I imagine everyone in the over the Iron Star Link is suddenly like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone that has an Ion Star suddenly feels the most intense panic you have ever felt. <laughs> <laughs> Ippo suddenly twists and falls over mid-dance move. My air and senses are tingling. Uh, well, this is also happening, Alana. You notice someone else being led off as well. Oh boy. Oh Wait. god. She'll follow with it, by the way. Uh, it's... Let's go. These two. Dolan, uh, Dolan Elma. Which, you have not advocated to just kind of seem to be a natural pair. Mm-hmm. So, fuck it's not exactly one, a place that they wander off. Those two, are, those let them die. No. Dole <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dol just seems to be leading her off, seemingly actually deeper into the center of the camp. She'll uh, she'll just trail behind, waiting to see if something happens. Uh, there's a point where Dole basically like leans over to her to what looks like kiss her on the cheek. Roll me percent or roll me spellcraft. Thank you. Yeah, no. He's I was like, expecting uh, you to say a black hand comes out of his mouth and just kind of just, grabs her just face. Just wait. Uh, yeah. You're not too far off of that, but it's less creepy. But you see what appears to be like a black wisp on Dole's breath just kind of like hit Elma in the face. Very, barely noticeable, but the magic is bright enough for you to see. Ah. After that, they continue walking again, arm in arm. Please don't attack them. Get back up there. It appears the hand thing is, isn't, you know, not slacking. Okay, you're lucky. <laughs> um, I'll, I'm, I'm going to chime in now. Uh, yeah. As, si as Silas is finishing up this conversation with the two headmasters, Aaron crawls underneath the part of the, under the, uh, part of the tent, 
and just sort of waves for them to get notice. Silas, is this for is this your friend? Hi, hi, yes, I, uh, Aaron. Hi, hi, nice to meet you. Um, hands, hands are here. Hands have just ripped a child off the roof. Um, what? Aaron, want to calm down a little bit? The is it hand again? monster? It's here. It ripped a child off the wall. Oh. Well, Professor Williams, Madam Moore, I think we have our target. I think it might here. be time to gather people. I uh, um. It, it, it didn't kill her. That's good. It just put her back on the wall and she walked away nonchalantly. So that's good. That makes me really happy with the entire situation currently happening. Oh, no. I think I know what it's doing. It's implanting more hands. Yes! Hands. That's yes. exactly what it's doing. Uh-huh. Right. Who was it? Oh, great. Um, Silas, I'm assuming because I'm talking to you guys and you guys are being really casual, you already did that, right? Yes. Cool. I have cleared cool. Professor Williams. Great. I... Uh, I I don't know what the plan is. Um, do we just want to call like the better part of Valor and just sort of no, we're not ship off. No, okay, cool. Um, update. Uh, Reese went off to go find the engineer, Professor Engineer. He went off into the woods. I don't know if he's okay. Um, now that I know that there's the big hand monster stalking off at the woods and being sneaky around us, it is very intelligent and knew exactly what to do, and it, it can mind control people, and because Jade led the other student up to the wall, and it got ripped off, and she walked away nonchalantly as well, as if it was exactly what she meant to do! Slow down. Deep breaths. I have been deep breathing. I know exactly how to calm myself down. Okay, carry on. <sighs> well, professors... We hear, well, I guess this is something that that you two may, may find your talents good at. I am glad that I went and had you cleared first, Professor Williams. Stop adding pleasantries and solve the issue. Pleasantries are how you solve this issue. You need, in times of crisis, you keep calm and you lead correctly. <sighs> now, now keep your head on you. We're going to need you. I know, I've been busy. Yes. So I was just giving you an update. I don't know if Riss is okay because she wandered off into the woods to go look for the engineering professor, and I don't know of ways to contact her, so she's probably been eaten by hands. So, <sighs> you know, you're getting good and bad. Um, eh? <laughs> I don't. I'm certain Riss will be fine. We, will, we need to focus on the situation in the camp. We need to make sure that no one else is let off in as subtle a way as possible. Okay, sure. How? Wait, can I break you off now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because we're going into a session. You said something that is good, good enough for me to end on, because it is kind of run a bit past. As you say that, uh, kind of just out of the uh, lip of the tent, you see a disembodied hand just scutter across the ground as it runs into the tent. Oh, God. Hmm. Okay, then. Which is where we'll end on. Ah, uh, god damn it. I, I have Sorry. a plan on how to clear basically at least all the students all at once, but I've not really had a good chance to pull Ipos away to find out what the fuck is actually going on. I mean, I just, I mean, I just like the idea we're going to start up a session, uh, Tender, and it's going to be the two of us in a fight, surrounded by zombies. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Why are the students attacking us? Cause that, that, <laughs> cause that's a, exactly what's going to happen. If, if you guys go and like hunt down the big hand monster thing, all the infected students are immediately going to turn on us. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, Silas I mean, knows this. I mean, Epos, do you have your non-lethal taser beam? Technically, but I only have like four of them. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, you don't have the you don't have the meta magic version. Right. No. Well, you have your storm burst. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I can oh, only okay. do that like four or five times a day. Um, you may you may need to just start throwing objects at people. <laughs> but what I will say is, oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, that's I, bad. I, I got this non-lethal bludgeon someone with a table leg. That's true. Uh, you will have a little bit of space to talk between the session next, if assuming people want to get other people on board. Which, please, <laughs> please. Uh, yeah. I I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna do what Alana was going to do, honestly, which if I rolled that willpower, she was full honestly is going to run at them, 
hit one of them with corruption against or resistance against evil and just dump the wine on the other person. I think Fisher, if that is your isn't your uh, a smart ability personal? No. Um, we we found I out that um, others, but... we found that protection versus evil didn't do anything. Uh, I'll tell you now, out of character, because well, most of my in this anyway, and you probably succeed. It does do anything, but it only does something for the duration of the spell. It just doesn't ah. get rid of it. If someone was actively being controlled, but then they were booped by it, they would, you know, game be controlled for themselves. So, oh, yeah, okay, so I still did do everything right, and it's, the hands uh, yeah. don't know any better. Sweet. Basically, yeah. so it's not like they would have been. Oh, sorry. Screw me. Sorry, I know. Discord's showing me that I'm muted, but... Yeah, yeah. and this is so, not chaos confused. Yeah. So, no, yeah, you definitely did the right thing there, and that if you just kind of went up to them and went, who? Oh, ha, you infected? Yeah, shit would have went down. But bipping them with a, the spell kind of broke the connection for that period. It's, that's, I mean, that's how protection from whatever works when someone's already affected by an effect. It just uh, suppresses it. It doesn't end it. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. Well, that was a good good. Yeah. You did it. Yay. But yeah. I'm probably gonna say Good on Discord, stop doing that. Uh between next the session and next one, you probably have like five minutes worth of worth of um well of course, you know, speaking of free action. But you have five minutes worth of organization that you could do, such as catching, catching people up or creating people. Hey 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 Epos, let's dance. Uh, I assume that might not include Silas and Aaron because I think at the start of yeah at the start of the next session Silas my plan with Silas was to just mage hand the hand and and entangle it and try and pull it towards us. Well, I guess it's down to Alano and Ash to fill the rest of us in then. Come in, come in. Well, alternatively, well. alternatively, after all, we get to have the great fight of hiding behind the uh, buffet table and 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 shooting from over the top. A lot of will tell them. No, actually, I've got the perfect non evil solution for you, Tinder. Um, oh, what's it called? Crunkle. It's the crossword that fires random Crunkle things. Giant. You can, you can, you can fire the food at people as a non lethal weapon. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, we we did <laughs> all get a feeling of like mass panic from Erin over the. Over yes, the but link, we have no but... idea where the where she is. No, but it gives us a, a chance. You know, it it might prompt Alana or Ash to you know. All the rest of us in. Ipos was going to use it as an excuse to go looking for her, but you know, end yeah. of session. Do I have a queue of people waiting for food? A little bit. I mean, you could probably just slap it on a table, honestly. But no, no, that's, no, that's, no, that's... Both somewhat dedicated. That's fair. But that's fair. Ipos did know that Elena, you know, basically shat herself. She... Going out to find the other people and be like, hey, you know what's up? That's not, yeah, it's not reasonable, definitely. 